Okay. I am going to demonstrate this front end digital IC design open source EDA tools for Windows. So my name is Muhammad Zakir Hussain. So we have a list of open source EDA tools for digital IC front end design on Windows operating system. The list is here. ICARS Verilog open source tool for simulation. This is a tool ICARS. This is used for simulation. In order to see the waveform, we need a waveform viewer. So for that, GDK Wave is a open source tool. It is used to see the results in the waveform. And the after performing the simulation, we have to uh, go for synthesis. If simulation is correct, then we go for the synthesis. So just a minute, I'll take the pointer. So here, uh, EOSIS is an open source tool for Verilog HDL to gate level netlist. This is to perform the synthesis. EOSIS open source tool is used. And uh, to see the netlist generated uh, after synthesis, we need a visualization software that is Graphis. This is for netlist uh, visualization. So all these tools here, IKRS, GTK Wave, Yosis, and Graphis, all these tools are integrated here in VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So I will demonstrate how we can do this uh, integration and how we can use this uh, through one example. <laughs> Here, uh, these are the links from where we can download all of these tools. I will put these links in the, in the video description here. We need uh, some plugins uh, in VS Code to see uh, like uh, when we type very log keywords and all. So this is one uh, plugin and the graph, this is another plugin. The, uh, for this uh, two, we uh, I will show during the demonstration. Uh, so let's go to the demonstration. <laughs> The first thing is we need all these tools to download, right? So starting from this uh, Yosis, just type in Google Yosis download. So you will be having two links here. This is download, install Yosis, open synthesis. And here is another link. So click this second link. So you will be uh, taken to this URL from here download this yosis on ms windows this one and then just type icrs verilog download so this will take to this uh, links here so click the first one here it will take to this page from here you download this one uh, that is the latest one and then uh, we have here graph is download this is uh, if you type in the google then uh, the first link that comes here that you please click it will take to this url so what you can do here is go to window section and uh, download uh, this one because most of the systems nowadays are 64 bit so download this and then we need a vs code so just type in Google VS uh, code download. So the first link uh, that you click, that will take you to this uh, uh, URL, this page. From here, you can download this 64-bit uh, because as I said, most of the systems nowadays are of 64-bit. So having downloaded all of this, so how to set up them? Here, 
this icarus if you download the setup file that you see uh, directly you can click here uh, from here where i have downloaded this one in the downloads it is Programs here it is. Uh, I very log so just double click this one and the prompt will come. Then select yes and then I accept agreement and just click next and next. And uh, this icarus uh, very log also includes GTK web separately. You don't need to download GTK web and then next. And then this is something that is important that you have to do, add executable uh, folder to the user path. So check this one and just click next and then install. So since I have already installed, so I just cancel this. Next is, this is uh, done. And go to this graphics. <coughs> graphics are also same thing. Just click this one, and uh, this is there in uh, here in my case. This is Windows 10 C make release graphics. So if you double click this one, th this also prompts the same way. Click yes, and then <laughs> click next, and then I agree. And here also you have to do the same. That is add graphics to the system path for all users. Select this and then click next and then install. The, I will just click and then install. So since I have already installed, I'll be canceling this. <coughs> so we have done with uh, this two. Uh, that is ICANAS is done along with ICANAS, so very like one GTK we also bundled. So this is also done. Graphics is done. Now, EOSIS. So, EOSIS, as I said, <coughs> go to like first in Google, you type EOSIS download, and then the second link, it will take you to this web page. From here, download this one. So, when you click this one, uh, you just create a folder in, in some uh, place in your system. So in my case, uh, it is there in the documents. There is a Yosis folder. I have created this folder. Inside this, I have downloaded. Just we have to unzip this one. After unzip, copy this path. Copy this path. Just right click, copy. And then go to environment variables. This environment variables here. You go to this path in under system variables. Path is there. Go to that. Be careful here. Uh, don't uh, press this delete. Be careful here. Go to path and then new. Click on new. Uh, no, no. Don't click on the new because you have to type here manually. Just cancel. Uh, click on edit. Here. Select the new. Here you select the new. So it will give the space here. In that space, that path we have to paste. So you can see here already I have pasted the path here. In documents, EOSIS, EOSIS, this all this. So that you paste here. After that, click OK. Since I have done already, I just cancel. And then click OK. So in my case, since it is done already, I'm just canceling. And then click OK. So that's how you set the, uh, there is no like installation, uh, I guess very log and uh, uh, graphics we have seen, uh, that way it will not be there. So that is done here. And then the finally, this one that is uh, VS Code, just click here VS Code download. And the first link that comes, you just click and that will take you here and click this uh, windows and uh, it will be downloaded 
and then the way we have installed the icrs and graph is that way you have to install this one also once it is done you will see uh, this uh, visual studio code uh, shortcut here just double click that one <laughs> So I just remove this folder for now because I had to demonstrate. I earlier uh, did that one here. Close folder. So now this is how the interface first time you will see. So as I said, uh, we have to have these plugins, very log and graph is. So what you have to do is go to these extensions. Here you type you know, search extensions in marketplace. Just type very log. Now, this one, just remember this uh, MS HR hyphen H. This one you select. And then here you will see install. Click on install. So, since in my case it is done, it is showing here uninstall. But in your case, uh, first time if you are installing, it will be installed. That is one thing that we have to do. The second thing is graph is. Graphics. So if you type this graph is here, this one just remember this one E F, lowercase A N, uppercase Z Z H. So click that one, and then you will see here install. Since it is already installed in my case, you will you are seeing here uh, uninstall. So click here in your case if you are installing first time install. So we have done with these two plugins here in the VS Code. Now this is ready uh, to be used as an uh, integrated development environment. So for now I close this. So here you had to uh, have like uh, if you are working uh, some project. In my case uh, for demonstration I have kept this full adder example. Ensure that there are no spaces, like uh, in my case here, full underscore adder underscore example is there. So don't uh, have spaces like this. Full adder space, full underscore adder space example. So some tools will not work properly uh, with the spaces. So avoid this space. So I just keep underscore. Inside this folder, I have created two subfolders. One is for simulation, the other is for synthesis. So first we have to perform the simulation because we have to ensure that our design is working perfectly. So I have kept here, one is a full adder design point and this is a test bench point. So I just remove this extension of SV. It's a very long point. And then, uh, we are ready with our full adder uh, and test bench that is for simulation. And in synthesis, we need to have uh, this file, like uh, just a minute. The required file is very log file. The synthesis is uh, not required. That is netlist list file earlier I did. We need to have here one is very log file and then standard search library file. If you are providing some constraints, that file are also required. So this demonstration is only for synthesis without constraints. So I have here standard sense library and my very log file here. And this is a script file. So this is a script file having these commands. Read underscore liberty space hyphen lib and this is standard cell library name. And read underscore very log hyphen no latches space fa dot v. This is uh, my very log point. So th these are the commands basically. Uh, so the intention is not to teach about the uses of, uh, you know, commands here. The intention is to demonstrate how we can use these tools and Windows environment, how we can set up. So in some other video, I'll make, uh, you know, every uh, detail of this command here. So that's how we are keeping ready our, uh, you, know, you know, script for synthesis.
and then so here let me close this one so we have standard cell library verilog file and the script file so these are for synthesis so a few commands we have to know uh, to work with uh, this uh, ikrs verilog so while demonstration i will uh, be using them this is i verilog and the files that we want to compile after compilation we will get a file a dot out by default we will get this one then we have to uh, use this for execution of this file that is a dot out vvp command then it will generate this vcd file so we use this gtk wave to see this uh, uh, you know in a waveform viewer so we'll uh, see uh, while i'm demonstrating so that's how the setup is here now uh, please remember there must not be any uh, space in the path so i just open this one uh, visual studio code and here i'm going to open folder since i have kept already ready that one on desktop in the presentations this full adder i select this one and select folder so it it will like it is uh, added here now we want to perform simulation first select that folder right click open in integrated terminal so here terminal is open what you have to do here is the first command as i said i very log space those very log files so we are compiling them now you can see here one file will be generated a dot out earlier it wasn't there in the simulation folder earlier fa.v testbench.v only two files were there now this a dot out file has come so now we have to type the second command vvp that a dot out and so this is the result that we are seeing in the console and the same result if you want to see in the waveform so we have to type here uh, in addition to that here if you see earlier this fa.vcd uh, this wasn't there now it is existing after after execution of this ada out now we use that gtk wave and then that fa.vcd file enter so you will be seeing this gtk wave waveform viewer here select this your db the signals will be populated here just double click or select all of this and okay. so i'll be double clicking to add them here in the waveform here so now once you have added here just click this uh, zoom fit so if you click zoom fit then you can see here uh, wherever i'm keeping this cursor clicking cursor their vertical line is coming corresponding to that the values you can see here corresponding to that values can be seen so like that in the waveform also we can see so i close this waveform here so what we have done is we have done simulation and we ensured that our results are correct if results are correct then we can go for the synthesis so for going to the synthesis you have to go to the synthesis folder right click and then open in integrated terminal so you are there in this path now synthesis path so here if you see already we have kept all of this uh, uh, you know cmos uh, underscore cells dot lib fa dot v run dot yes all these files are there and there i had shown you so this is the script file that we want to run. So just type the command uses and then that script file name and then present. So it is doing this entire synthesis process here. 
And we also can see here, this is the report file. In the report file, you can see this is our report file. And it is estimating chip area. Suppose if we're using a nanometer, so the technology file, it is 52 nanometer. Uh, this is, uh, and then uh, we have here this show uh, dot dot file. So this is the file that is required to see in the graphics. Uh, that is uh, vi uh, visualization software, like, uh, you know, this netlist, what uh, this synth dot v file has got netlist. This is generated after synthesis. This netlist, how this is connected, graphically we can visualize using graphics. And this is the file required for it. Show dot dot file. So click that file and then go to view. And here command palette is there. Select that. Here you have to type graphics. So you will see this graph is just click that one. Now you can see uh, the same thing that is uh, this 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 file. How this is connected here in a visualization form we can see. So we can see that one here. So mouse uh, wheel like uh, you know down it is zoom in and. Uh, you know, downwards, front, front side, and the back side, if I use the mouse wheel, then it will zoom out. So that's how we can see. Uh, really, that's great tool here. Uh, we can get the synthesis report, netlist file. Netlist file we can get, and uh, we can visualize that one, that netlist. And we also get the report estimated chip area, and the number of cells consumed by the design, that information. So this part is uh, is what uh, the front-end design in digital IC design. So hope uh, this video will help someone. If you have any doubts, please uh, post them in comment section. Okay. Uh, anything I'm missing here, just I'm checking out. Uh, yeah, it's done. Thank you.